Welcome back to today's morning report on Friday the 1st of July with me Rich Perry Market Analyst and Handtech Markets. Let's have a look at Euro Dollar now and we've seen in the last few days Euro Dollar rebounding but yesterday was a, a different story really. There was a little bit of volatility um, so returning back to the uh, Euro Dollar chart um, but again it's just sort of just rolling over I think and um, I've been talking about the fact that I think around this sort of pivot band 111 maybe you'd get a pit, sort of a, a sell zone between 111 112 which is underneath this old uptrend of the uptrend channel uh, the old uptrend forming the, uh, the sort of the basis of the new resistance uh, and that currently comes in around 112 again and that is sort of around this old pivot line, um, 112.15. Um, so I think that's a sell zone between 111 and 112 and seemed to be sort of coming back in yesterday. You look at these momentum indicators, you think it's negatively configured, isn't it? RSI under 50, MACD lines falling, stochastics falling. Yeah, I think this rally is going to get sold into, personally. Um, and I think that uh, yesterday's candle kind of sort of played out that. Um, you're sort of now consolidating around this pivot line at 111. Um, and um, you're not seeing a too great deal of direction. But if you look on this hourly chart, you'd say, well, that's basically a consolidation, isn't it? It sort of has rebounded, yes. I mean, rebounded from 109.68, sort of 100, 150 odd ticks um, up to 155, so 180 ticks uh, to yesterday. Um, but it's, I just see it, see it as a consolidation, really, rather than an improving outlook. You look at these momentum indicators on the hourly, just sort of rolling over again. These MACD lines have recovered and rolled over. Stochastics not really gaining strength. Um, RSI failing sort of in the low to mid-60s again, rolling over. So I, th I think it's sort of all playing out as this sort of rally to this um, to a sell zone. And it's it's probably fair enough actually, isn't it? Because you've got the overhead supply from these this dip mid June, overhead um, sort of the the rally highs of sort of one eleven fifty five to to eleven eighty eight that you saw in the wake of the Brexit decision. And I think it it is pretty much that. I think we're seeing uh, a rally that's going to get sold into. Um, I'm not expecting an upside break above twelve fifteen anyway. Um, and uh, I think we're going to get retest to the lows. So you've got the n immediate support that comes in. Uh, if I zoom in today, you got the reaction low, 1069, underneath 10, sorry, above 20, 1022. Um, but I think these are levels that will be tested in due course. So I wish you good luck in your trading on your dollar today, and I'll speak to you later. Thank you.